Hey everybody, it's Tina. I, uh, I'm going to do a little video today um, making art tags or things for your art journal just using stuff you found around the house. And I found this, um, when well, I find it, I made my husband mac and cheese and uh, thought this would be something neat to make a, made a tag out of. And this, the back of it, excuse the light, has beautiful little words on it and I thought I'm going to scan this off um, in my printer and print out a couple of copies to put in an art journal page for the like starting the background so I'll probably show you that too so anyway let's get started So now I um, told you in the beginning of the video that um, I love the back of that mac and cheese box. So I was going to print it out, uh, scan it, and then print it out, which I did. Um, here's that mac and cheese box tag. We'll go over those in a minute. And um, I did want to show you, you know, a lot of people are scared of the blank page thing. <laughs> so this is one way to get over that. And if you watched my Pretty Edges episode, um, this is the book I used in there, so I decided I'm going to put it here, and this will give you a little step up over the blank page um, fear. So you see I've already got a lot of um, the pretty edges here, and I'd already done some things, and that's a great way to get things started. Just take a blank page and put something on it, anything. You can cut a picture of whatever out and just stick it there, leave it, come back to it later, and it really does help if you have that fear. Um, some people, and sometimes I can too, just start on a blank page and just, you know, have some a goal in mind and go from start to end. But that's not always how it is. And sometimes you just want to be free because art, arting is 
just freeing and you don't want to have to think all the time you want to just do and be so I looked through here and that's one of my finished pages I'm trying to decide where I wanted it to go and I kind of liked how the blue went here but I didn't really like the purple with it so I don't know I just kept flipping through trying to find a place um, nothing really stuck out and just yeah just you know so all of my different pages so I decided on this page back here and I really like it goodness no room in here because of the black I just this is a book I created myself with my binding machine. I did this from scratch. Those are all my papers, different papers I used. Oh goodness, box, you are in the way. There goes all my beads that I was going to show. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, so I've got to decide how I want this to go in. And because I want the yellow from the mac and cheese to kind of blend, even though if I, when I finish this, these pages you may not even see the yellow anymore but I don't you know know what it's going to be so for now I kind of want it to be eye-catching so I either want to do it like that or like that and I don't think I want to do you no know, caddy I don't want to do it cattywampus or anything like that so I think I like it the other way so that's what we're going to do so get out a page to stick my glue on because I don't want it on my mat And I just use Elmer's Purple Disappearing disappearing Glue Stick. And oh yeah, you can see all kind of things in it, but it's just <laughs> I think that's actually pretty new too, so who knows what's floating around in here. Or what kind of materials that I use that I glue down with it that sticks to it. Arting is messy. It can be very messy. Okay, that looks really good. And a lot of time I'm speeding through these videos and people have no idea what I'm doing with this part, but now because it's so slow you can tell, I'm actually just making sure all the edges are pressed down. And you can use anything you want for this. Um, you can use a bone folder, I don't know where mine's at, I've just moved it somewhere. Credit card, anything. Just so it's nice and good. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Glue this side in. And if any of the edges lift off later, which I think I've got that pretty good, I just lift them up and put the glue and smear it back, you know, mush, mush it back down. There are no mistakes in art journaling. There are no rules and like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents why it's good not to have anything really too planned out because you can be really pleasantly surprised with the outcome. Oops, I to do it that way. I'm trying to keep excess glue off the page. Got sticky. Alright. Okay. Now I like the way that looks. That gives us something to start with. It really looks good. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to lay the tags back out and we're going to talk about those. Okay, and now I'm back and I wanted to flip back a little bit um, because if you um, use a mac and cheese box or any, any kind of grocery store or food box, they are um, shiny, they have a, a, a coating on them and it your paint and stuff will scratch off even if you paint it on it so you can do many things to avoid that you can use um, some gesso you can use clear gesso you don't have to use white gesso um, I don't have clear gesso I just never use it um, but I wanted my I wanted my words to kind of show through I wanted some of the mac and cheese to show through because that's why I chose the box I like the blue and again um, I'll, I, I could have used different colors on this so it didn't have to end up blue I could have pulled out some red and stuff but I wanted to go with what I saw in the box um, and to avoid let me back up here see the scratches on that I didn't do any kind of sealing to start out with and the one reason is because look how beautiful this one turned out 
I kind of like that it scratches off before I'm done with it. It gives it a whole other texture, another layer of something. But what I did is after I got these all finished and inked up and everything, um, I use a matte clear spray enamel. And I just spray it real quick that way, real quick that way, let it dry a minute or two or three, flip it over and do it again. And then you've got it, it's nicely sealed. You can still draw and things on this. Um, you may not be able, you could still try to use distress inks. I'm not sure how they would work because I can't have anything to absorb into. But um, at this point, I can still use acrylic paint or anything I want to on those. And the reason I'm not sh showing you these further progressed alone, um, along, is because mainly I did this for art journaling. Um, a lot of people make tags and think, you know, what, what am I going to do with that? And, you know, I even have tags sitting around here that I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> what am I going to do with that? But um, you can actually put them in an art journal. You know, you can make the little pockets or whatever you want to do with them. You can actually glue them straight on the page in some kind of a design, you know, and make it pretty. There's many different things. Also, another tip I'm going to do, let you know in on is about... Um, you can make these as just bookmarks and it, or as flat. They can still be considered tags, but make them as flat as possible. Go to the library, go into the books, and kind of hide one in there that you, you're you proud of. It can have a little saying on it and whatever, maybe some little flat ribbons so it'll fit in the book and kind of hide. And you can put a note with it that says, you know, if you find this, it's, you know, it's yours. Some little saying. Um, my friend does finish MS. And they create a lot of rocks that are distributed all over the world um, in support of that. And um, so you could actually support something, somebody, something you want to be donated to or, or to make people aware of. Um, stick it on a little bookmark and hide it in a book and, you know, make somebody's day because it's something pretty that, you know, you made and you don't have to hold on to it. You've still got to be creative and put yourself, you know, out there. Um, so another thing that I said was putting it in an art journal and I want to show you one that I made years ago and in fact I'm going to connect to the video <laughs> of when I made this tag and I had a different website name at the time this was a long time ago and I was just playing around with stuff um, but uh, it's still on YouTube so I will link it so you can see what this tag looked like in the beginning or how I made it I believe let me show you that it was an, it was either a CoQ10 box or it was a HP printer box and I believe it was a HP printer box but um, it had a little butterfly on it and that's the whole reason I wanted to use it. Um, the, the tag looks nothing like the, 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 like the box. It has everything got covered up pretty much except for the butterfly and I want to see how it's kind of shiny. I used a brown, um, oh, what do you call that, reflective kind of paint and I could have done that with all these to really enhance them but because I don't know what I'm going to use them for in the future I'm not going to um, but I wanted to show you that and this is what I was talking about use some flat ribbons and you can put it in any book and it's not going to be all bulky and everything um, it's not going to be like the kind of tag that people make that's just piled up on and uh, collaged on top of that's really thick that you give as gifts this is just how you make uh, tags for your art journal um, so that's that. Um, another way that, you know, if you did want to fatten these th things up and there's more things you can do with them. You can, um, like, I, I look at this and I kind of want to take my black marker, my black gel pen, and go around it and outline it. That would make that pop. Then I'd have place for words right here. I could say anything I wanted to. Or I could put some words on the back because that was kind of boring back there. What would I want to say to that? Um, because in your art journal, you, 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 it doesn't, well, you can have it flip back and forth too if you put it in a pocket, but if you glue it down, you're only going to want to glue down the side that you want up. But another thing you can do is make these paper beads, and I got this from, uh, Jenna Belly, J-E-N-N-I-B-E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E. look at her up on YouTube, and, um, she's got millions of videos, and I don't know, eight, nine years ago, I saw her paper, paper bead video and just had to try it and so these are just some of the paper beads but you can have these hanging off dangling you know make them appear whatever into just real thick um, yarn or any, anything just make it really pretty these also work really well 
to go dangle down on the binding of your book. Um, but I usually wait till the, I'm done with a book to do something like that because I want it to be nice and flat um, while I'm working on it. So I don't really put any decoration on the binding until I'm all done with it. So I think that is all that I wanted to say um, about these and I apologize for not going making these even prettier or anything but this was specifically about art journaling and helping us with the blank page and you know it's just something fun to do and you can do, you're you're um recycling you're upcycling so save some of those things don't become a hoarder just save some of the the boxes and stuff that you think are pretty and you can really create anything out of them and in fact um i used cereal boxes to make an entire book one time so well maybe i'll do a walkthrough on that one of those days one of these days so okay thank you guys bye